and soil That's the only bit of toil The seats you keep Those ones you will never reap Get out to make hay Keep the pride and heat away That's the only That's the only way to go This evening, what kind of embarrassment is this? Huh? What kind of embarrassment is this? Why is my wife and my help here in your office, Madam Coco? Honorable, your wife came here on her own. It will interest. It will not interest me for any trash that you said to me. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. This is. My office. Yes. Now, what I will not tolerate is you coming to my office and insulting me. Your wife has made a very serious allegation against this young man. Do you know that he put your own son in the hospital? Yes. <laughs> Where was she when this allegation happened? Were you not supposed to stay in the house and take care of the house? Oh! Where was I, Honorable? Shamaria, no. Where was I? You are outside taking fans, honorable, honorable. When you come home, you don't do anything that deserves that you are called honorable. Wait, is that all you have to say? Did you hear what I said? This young man has put your son in the hospital. I'm sure it's just an exaggeration. Now, plus, you should not in any form believe this woman. Hey! Never Kujo. believe this woman. Kujo. Are we done here? Mr. Mason! How can you be defending this demon instead of your son? Shush, shush, shush. Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you just charging anyone with any crime or just mere speculations? Coco. I guess we are done here. Let's go. Coco, do let what do you mean? I was at that idiot's house today. Kofi? Is that not the idiot we know? <laughs> Yella, he's my husband. No? Anyways, is it true? Does he have a child? Well, technically, I didn't see anything whilst I was there. But there were signs. Signs? What kind of signs? Uh, just some kid stuff, like um, children's shoes, like cereal. Cereal? Kofi does not eat cereal. Someone is there. Esi, <laughs> why are you going? Please, I need to go see for myself. I need to talk to him now. He has a child. <sighs> You're welcome. Mm, was thank working. you. Typical. And how was your day? Did you go and do the test? Well, we are fine. I went for the test. Mm -hmm. But I still don't see the reason for it. Mm. The test is important. Eh? <laughs> hmm. Welcome, madam. Mm -hmm. The delivery guy brought this. Hey, why did you give it to me? First. Ma, you were asleep. And he said I should give it to madame. Thank you. Hey. 
Uh, patience, go upstairs and go and put Titi to bed, okay? Yes, madam. What's the issue? Oh, there's no issue. Your results are in. It's impossible. I only took the, the, the test this morning. The, the result is, is not supposed to be out yet. I know, but the MD is a very good friend of mine, and I told him it was urgent, so. Oh. <laughs> I don't think you should open it. I don't think you should open it now. We're having fun. We're, we're, we're just having fun happily now. You are, you are coming to spoil it. Everybody knows what is wrong with me. The moment you open no, it now, you are coming no. to spoil our day. No, it's okay. <laughs> All right, you have a point. I'll put it down and we can check it later, okay? Okay? Okay. Go upstairs and go and change. Why would you keep up with someone like that? Uh, I was just leaving. I just wanted to check up on you. Just leaving? Why did you put up the lights? I didn't. I was... I slept off working on all those crazy cases here. Maybe someone else did. What are you doing? Why are you still here? Fine, you reek of alcohol. I think you should go home. I Isn't said that? I'm fine. Good night, Didi. But are you sure you're fine? Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Who is there? It's me. It's me. What are you doing here? Efua, come. You need to sleep. Are you done with your homework? Come. Yeah. So let's go. Esi, what are you doing here at this time of the night? Oh, so it's true. What is true? You had family orders, wow. Where is the useless woman? What are you talking about, Esi? 
Whose daughter is that? Answer me, Kofi. She's mine. Well, I kind of adopted her. You adopted a child? See. Wow. Especially as I can't get you one. Why are you doing this? Why are you crying, Izzy? She, she, she's so precious. Why didn't you bring this option up to me? Eh? She, she, she's so beautiful. See, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. You, you adopted a child without me? We are not even divorced yet. Or oh, you forged my death certificate. Hey, Izzy, you can't talk! See, Coco helped me, okay? I'm not yet done with any paperwork. I'm not done with the legal stuff. Oh, of course. I figured it out. What? This will be my kid. Essie, Essie, please stay. Essie, please stay. Please don't go. Please stay. See, I need you to understand that there's nothing between Coco and I, and there's nothing going to happen between both of us. See, look into my eyes. Just look into my eyes and you will understand that there's nothing between Coco and I. Please stay. I believe you, but... Please just... stay. Please stay and help me raise this adorable girl, please. Her name is Efo. She needs a mom. Please stay. And be her mom. And my wife. Please. I'm so sorry to call you early this morning. Um, I just read the results of the test you ran of my mother. Oh, it's no problem. I just left surgery. Um, what happened about the test? Uh, you are surprised too, right? Yes, because the last doctor she saw was sure she had cancer. Cancer? Madam, I thought you were surprised at how healthy your mom is. Uh, she's as strong as a feel. I hope there is no problem. Oh, there's about to be a problem. Yeah, don't worry. Um, thank you. I'll see you later. What's the meaning of this? Eh? Explain this to me. What are you talking about? Do you have cancer or not? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you dare lie to me. Coco, what has come Do over you have morning? cancer or not? Answer yes or no. Just small. S small. It's a lie, madam. Eh? Ma, ma don't have cancer. Will you, will you shut up your mouth? Eh, no, 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 no. I want to hear this. Patience, continue. Thank you, madam. Maybe I'm wrong, but but Ma was on phone the other day, and she said she's lying about the cancer. I think maybe she was joking. Ma, were you joking? So why would you lie about cancer? Hey, for what? Oh, please, we are all liars in this house. Huh? How am I supposed to get your attention or, 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 or know that you will not send me back to the village if you are not think that I'm dying? Huh? Do, do you normally check on me? Have you, will you, will you, will you even try to check on me if I hadn't come to Accra? Huh? Go about lying to, to the world that you have a perfect life, whereas you have a mother and a child to, to, to care less for. Listen, leave Titi out of this. Mm. How many, how many, how many of those who, who can deny their existence at your, under your command knows that there's a titty somewhere? Please, just stop that self-righteousness. Yes. 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 I lied about dying. But I'm better than you, who is dead but lied about being alive.
Hello, Didi. Hello, madam. You have to get to the office now. I found a way to get down. Okay, I'm coming. You are very wicked. So, your uh, Uncle Coffee's wife? Yes, darling. You can call me Aunt, Aunt Yisi. Okay. So, why were you and Uncle Coffee fighting last night? Oh, that. We're acting drama. Don't worry, when you come back from school, we'll do ours. What do you okay. think? Okay, I like <laughs> acting drama. <laughs> okay. Wait, so you're trying to tell me that Jambo has links high up in politics, in the army, and in the police force? Yes, and the only way we can get to him is to get information from these sources. No common civilian can arrest him. He's way bigger than we imagine, and he's been running this for years. Hmm. Where's Twice? She's not in yet. She worked late last night. Okay, let her come and see me when she comes. And let's work on finding a link to this jumbo. Yes, madam. Thank you. Uh, where have you been? I'm sorry, Coco, I'm late. Um, I've been busy. Busy? And what about the man in your house? I mean, is it Charles? Like I said, busy. Oh my God. Did you? I had to. He was going to die anyway. Well, how long do you think it would have taken Jambo to find him and end him if we didn't? You cannot continue like this. I thought we worked on you to stop this. This can never happen again. I'm sorry, Coco. Well, in this case, you are probably right. I mean, he could have ratted us out and this whole case would be over. But I don't know anything about this. I didn't tell you anything. Good. <clears throat> hey. What's up? Kobe. I'm very busy. Really, really busy. Of course. I think I'll have to do this myself. You don't care whether I remain a messenger or become a manager. Not really that. Just... Oh my God. We just got a mail from Jambu. There's a deadline to meet. Coco, 
go back to your desk. You know he's just trying to scare us, right? I mean, he knows we are on to him. That's why he's scared. So let's find him and make him pay for his crimes. All right? Madam, that's all the family I have. They are everything to me. He has information, pictures, addresses, full numbers of members of all our families. I don't know, Ma, but I think I speak for all of us when I say we should drop this case, please. Silence. Really? Drop this case? What about the young people he killed? Do you want to deny them access to justice? Look here, Jambo is a tyrant. He's a terrorist. He's an oppressor. And for years he has sold our children into slavery. Do you understand that what we do here is more than just a job? It is our responsibility to fight for the rights of those nobody fights for. If we drop this case, it could be your family next, your mother, your father, even your children. Listen, instead of bowing out, let's put the fear of God in this man. Let's find him and prosecute him to the full extent of the law. Who's with me? Let's get back to work. Are you going to tell her or not? I'm sure I can even help with this case. Kobe, really? Are you going to talk about this now? You know what? I'll handle this myself. Where are you going? You just want to get fired. Excuse me. Now we are alone. Are you crazy? How do you barge into here like this? I'm tired. Tired? Of what? I'm tired of you ignoring me in this office like just some errant boy. But you are errant boy. Madam, I know what happened that night isn't something you like to talk about and I don't respect you less. We all have our low moments and I respect that you are human too, but you can't keep treating me like this because I witnessed it, I beg you. I'm sorry, okay? I mean, the truth is, I've been embarrassed that I've been treating you the way I have. Thank you for not taking advantage of me that night when you easily could have and even for not telling your girlfriend how do you know i didn't tell her how do you even know i have a girlfriend because she still looks up to me like some god plus i know everything anyway what can I do to make up for this? You know I'm a first class graduate of accounting. If possible, would you allow me to manage the company's final books and records for some months? And if you are impressed, maybe create a position for me. Hmm. I'll think about it, okay? I said I'll just think about it. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm coming. Please, shred these documents for me.
And in breaking news, we just got report that Honorable and Mrs. Mensah's son, Jonathan Mensah, has fallen down from the stairs in their home and has died. This is shortly after Jonathan was discharged from prison. Oh, uh, okay. Are you okay? Why are you smiling like that? I think she just called me that before she slept. No way. Yes, way. I'm jealous. Why are you jealous? See, eventually she's gonna call you mom one of these days. So you just have to just stay used to it. Mm. That's your phone? Yeah. Who is it? Oh, it's nothing important. Come, come. Come. Oh my goodness! What happened to you people? Titi, are you okay? <laughs> 